Hey, what's up guys? I just read about Takashi 6 ix sentence and I'm reading here on the computer and it says he got 24 months in prison, two years, two years. Uh, he was facing decades, I think 40, 50 years or something like that. According to the Daily Beast, they said that um, Takashi, uh, prosecutors urged a federal, federal judge to show the Brooklyn born rapper leniency after he flipped on his his former crew, the nine trade gangster Bloods. Uh, Takashi 69 was sentenced to Wednesday to 24 months in prison. With five years of supervised release, um, the 23 year old rainbow haired rapper who faced the possibility of life in prison made an emotional statement before he was sentenced in Manhattan federal court. After pleading guilty in January to nine federal crimes, including racketeering, drug charges, under cooper a cooperation deal with the feds, uh, he says, I'm not a victim. Uh, I put myself in a position from day one. I allowed them in. That was my decision. The Brooklyn-born rapper, whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, added that he wants to inspire youth that it's never too late to change. Your Honor, allow me to inspire people, not only young people here, but the millions around the world listening and watching. Uh, prosecutors had urged the judge to show him leniency for his quote-unquote incredibly significant, extremely useful September testimony in the trial against his former gang associates. While the judge praised his courageous cooperation, he said that he ultimately could not let the rapper off the hook uh, for the time served. He says, in my judgment, your conduct is too violent and selfish to make 13 months reasonable. Um, apart from the number and vengefulness of these attacks, there's also that they were to benefit you, Engelmeyer said. Before you, the gang didn't fight with rap entourages. Uh, they had no independent interest in going after musicians and their management groups. Okay. Uh, during his three-day trial, the rapper linked two alleged gang members, 33-year-old uh, Nuke Mack and 31-year-old Harv Ellison, to several crimes and admitted to participating in robberies, assaults, and drugs, uh, etc. At a sentencing, an innocent bystander who was shot in the foot during an incident involving the gang testified about the pain she suffered. At the end of the day, he was the mastermind. The victim, identified only as LL, says, I have bruises on me. I have to look at myself. I want. I, I just want an apology. It took a lot for me to come here. I want to face him. I want him to know he hurt me. He hurt me. Okay. So um, let me see here. He says, my role, Tukashi says, my role uh, was just keep making hits and be the financial support for the gang. I got street credibility. I would say I got my career. Um, so yeah, so here's the deal. Here's quickly about Takashi 69. I'll give you some quick thoughts on this. Um, you know, I like to say, you know, say things or see things from an angle that uh, you may not get, you know, a media because I don't think people think about this stuff all that deeply. They just kind of look at the basics of it, right? We know he's a snitch. We know what went down. We know it's kind of a mess, but here's the bigger picture and the longer view on this. Takashi's not the first one to go through this shit. Takashi's not the first rapper to get took down by the feds, um, particularly in New York, where the RICO laws are so tough, uh, where the gun laws are extremely, extremely, extremely stringent. Um, I think there's a couple things happening here. Number one, uh, uh, this whole culture, you know, that's really created by the, those who run the music industry, not black people. Black people are not creating this. Black people are affected by this, but we're not creating this. This whole crazy culture of you know, of doing dirt, snitching on yourself on record, pop, showing up in videos with AKs and illegal weapons, and then going to the studio and uh, after you've attracted the attention from the hip hop police who are looking to lock black men up, uh, you're kind of, be, you're making yourself into a sitting duck. You see, the black man is always hunted and the black man, unfortunately, is being trained to make himself into a sitting duck. Now, Takashi, I think he's Mexican, but he ran with brothers. And, uh, and also, I think that white privilege does play a part in this. I think if Takashi did not morph himself into, uh, a, a, you know, this innocent looking white boy kind of figure like, oh, well, I just got caught up in with a bad crowd. You know, if that hadn't happened, I think it would have been a different thing. Bobby Schmurder probably wouldn't have got that same treatment. Um, I think that that race did play a part in terms of how Takashi's situation was dealt with. But also, just generally speaking, I think young people are encouraged through you know, some parts of this culture. I'm not talking about all hip hop culture. Hip hop's beautiful, man. There's no question about it. But as real human beings, we got to talk about this. You know, uh, you got rappers dying from drug overdoses because other older rappers are encouraging them to, to pop mollies and drink lean and get high and drunk all the time. Not only is, is it affecting the livelihood and the life of the man himself, but any, you know, if he's got children, now the children don't have a dad anymore. Um, they, you know, or maybe their daddy is a drug addict, right? Anybody who's ever had a father that's a drug addict, alcoholic, or not there, or dead, or in jail, 
knows how this affects the black community. Your community crumbles because your men are crumbling. And a lot of your men are crumbling because this culture has crumbled, right? So my point is to say all of this, that uh, I didn't like how it went down. Um, I feel bad for everybody involved. I feel like when I saw all those guys, I watched all the videos, I saw the dudes doing their thing. I saw all this talent that could have been applied anywhere. They could have been doing a lot of things with their lives, but somebody told them that this is, this is the only way for you to be successful. This is what you're supposed to be. And I think we can do better than that, you know? Um, now, how do I feel about Takashi and the snitching and all that? I'll, leave, I'll let you decide on that. I mean, you know, if you got kids, uh, it's hard to tell your daughter, like, okay, the reason that you didn't have your father growing up is because I, I didn't want to snitch on some people that I, I just met six months ago. Um, I don't know that some people say that, that that's where keeping it real goes wrong, right? Um, that your children pay a heavy price because you're out in the streets trying to keep it real, you know? So um, I'd like to get you guys thoughts on this. Um, I don't know what you think, but I, I just personally think it's all said all the way around. And honestly, when you get to my stage in life, you kind of watch this go down. I pay very, very close attention to what young people are doing. And I'm just waiting for the next one. There's going to be another one next year. Like E-40 said a long time ago, they, they find a new nigga next year. So there'll be another rapper next year in New York, busting guns on video, you know, showing off drugs and guns and everything else. The hip hop police going to be sitting there watching, you know, ear to the scanner. And they're going to follow you back to the studio. They're going to do a bust, bust you in the studio with all the drugs, with all the guns, get you on a RICO charge. It's going to happen all over again. Uh, that's just my two cents. That's what I see. Um, you know, I feel bad for all these young guys because I think they could do so many other things with their lives. They're hustlers. You know, they could be entrepreneurs. They could be making money other ways. But for some reason, somebody told the black man that, you know, that he can't be everything. He has to just be the one thing that they want him to be. And I think we're better than that. So anyway, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Uh, feel free to subscribe. DrBoyceTV.com. That's DrBoyceTV.com. That's my platform. Or IntelligentBlackPeople.com. That's IntelligentBlackPeople.com. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace.